Hello students! Today, we are going to study about some other relations on sets. You're going to learn about universal set, subset, and proper subset. Are you ready? For your first activity, consider this set of cards numbered 1 to 10. What you need to do is to form the following sets using the numbers in the cards. Number 1, A is equal to a set of numbers less than 6. Number 2, B is equal to a set of even numbers less than 6. Number 3, C is equal to a set of prime numbers. And number 4, D is equal to a set of numbers from 1 to 5. Again, these four sets that you're going to form will be from the set of cards numbered 1 to 10. We may consider this as our main set. You may pause this video to do this task. Revealing the correct answers, for number 1, we have set A is equal to a set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are the numbers less than 6 o mababa kay 6. For number 2, set B is equal to a set with elements 2 and 4. Sila lang yung even numbers na mababa kay 6. Number 3, C is equal to 2, 3, 5, and 7. These are the only prime numbers in this set of cards. When we say prime numbers, their only factors are 1 in itself. And take note, 1 is not a prime number. Number 4. Set D is equal to a set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Mula kay 1 hanggang kay 5. Very good students! Let us continue our discussion. The universal set or simply the universe denoted by a capital letter U contains all elements being considered in a given situation. Diba when we say universe, it is something that contains everything that you can possibly think of. Stars, planets, solar systems, galaxies, everything. We can consider universal set as our main set. Using the previous example, the set of numbers in the 10 cards is our universal set, or the main set. And from the universal set, we form the other sets A, B, C, and D. Sa madaling sabi, sinasets A, B, C, and D ay mga parts lang at nanggaling lang mula sa ating universal set. Malinaw ba? Subsets Set A is a subset of B, written A subset B, if and only if every element of A is also an element of B. Okay, let us consider set A as our first set, and set B as our second set. For subset, lahat ng elements ni A or ng unang set ay present or na kay B o sa pangalawang set. It is denoted by this symbol. Para madaling tandaan, it is like a sleeping U. Natutulog na U at nakahiga sa isang linya. Ayos ba? And from the idea of subset, mayroong pang nabuong concept. The proper subset. It is a kind of subset that shows proper inclusion. Set A is a proper subset of B, written A, proper subset of B, if and only if every element of A is also an element of B, and that B contains at least one element that is not in A. Sa madaling sabi, tulad na naon ang definition ni subset, lahat ng elements ni A o ng unang set ay na kay B o sa pangalawang set. Pero, hindi lahat ng elements ni B ay na kay A. Hindi lahat ng elements ng pangalawa ay nasa una. There is at least one element that is not in A. It is denoted by this symbol. Sleeping you, natutulog na you, kaso hindi siya nakahiga sa linya. I'll show you an illustration of subset and proper subset para mas madali niyong maintindihan. For subset, there are two arrowheads. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng elements ng unang set ay nasa pangalawa. At lahat din ng elements ng pangalawang set ay nasa unang set. Para silang equal sets, two sets with the same elements. For proper subset naman, as you can see, isa lang yung arrowhead. It means, lahat ng elements ni A 
o ng unang set ay nasa B o sa pangalawang set. Pero hindi lahat ng elements ng pangalawang set ay nasa una. There is at least one na na kay B at wala si A. Si B may pasobra dahil special siya. Special form of subset. And again, ang pinagkaiba lang din sa symbol, parehong natutulog na U. Pero kay subset, may underline dahil equal set sila or same elements. Sana malinaw po iyon. From these definitions and using these examples, we can say that sets A, B, C, and D are proper subsets of the universal set. All their elements are present in the universal set or the main set, pero hindi lahat ng elements ni universal set ay nasa kanila. Again, using these four random sets, set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, Set B with elements 2 and 4, set C contains 2, 3, 5, 7, and set D with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I want you to pause this video and try to compare the following pairs. Number 1, set A and set D. Number 2, set B and A. Number 3, set B and set D. And number 4, set C and D. You may now pause this video. So, what have you noticed? For number 1, set A and set D have the same elements. We can say that A is a subset of D. All elements of A are in D, and all elements of D are also in A. It is also correct to say that D is a subset of A. Next, number 2, sets B and A. B is a proper subset of A. Lahat ng elements ni B which are 2 and 4 ay na kay A at may excess o pasobrang elements si A na wala kay B. It is a proper subset. So B is a proper subset of A. But A is not a proper subset of B. This symbol is a negated proper subset. Ibig sabihin, it is not a proper subset. Let's check the elements of A. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Lahat ba ng elements ni A ay na kay B? No. So, it is neither a subset nor a proper subset. Hindi siya subset at hindi rin siya proper subset. It is not a proper subset. Next, number 3. Sets B and D. Since A and D are equal sets, just like example number 2, we can say that B is a proper subset of D. Lahat ng elements ni B ay na kay D, pero hindi lahat ng elements ni D ay na kay B. And D is not a proper subset of B. Number 4, set C and D. Check nyo agad. Lahat ba ng elements ni C, which are 2, 3, 5, and 7, ay na kay D? No, right? So, C is not a proper subset of D. How about D? Lahat ba ng elements ni D ay na kay C? Again, no. So, D is not a proper subset of C. Let's have more examples. Using the given sets below, fill in each blank with proper subset, subset or not a proper subset. Set M with elements 2, 5, 8, and 9. Set A contains 2, 8, and 9. Set T has elements 5, 8, and 9. And set H with elements 2, 8, and 9. Let's answer the following. For number 1, set A blank set M. First thing you need to do is to check the elements of the first given set, which is set A. The elements of set A are 2, 8, and 9. Now, second step, i-check nyo kung sina 2, 8, and 9 ba ay present kay set M. Set M has 2, 5, 8, and 9. Yes, teacher! So, ang choices mo na lang ay proper subset or subset. Kaso po may sobrang elements si M. May 5 po siya na wala kay A. So, in this case, it is a proper subset. Next, number 2. Set A blank set T. Again, by checking the elements of set A, 2, 8, and 9, and checking set T, 5, 8, 9, lahat ba ng elements ni A ay na kay T? No. So, it is not a proper subset. Next, number 3. Set A blank set H. 
Again, the elements of A are 2, 8, and 9. Si 2, 8, and 9 ba ay present kay H? Yes, teacher! Parehong-pareho po yung elements nila. So, it is a subset. Next, number 4. Set T, blank set M. Let us compare their elements. Let us check the elements of T. T has elements 5, 8, and 9. Si 5, 8, and 9 ba ay present kay set M? Yes, teacher! Pero hindi lahat ng kay M ay na kay T. May pasobra po si M. So, it is a proper subset. Next, number 5. Set H and set M. Again, check natin si H. Lahat ba ng elements ni H ay na kay M? Elements of H are 2, 8, and 9. Si 2, 8, and 9 ba ay present kay M? Yes, teacher! Kaso po, may sobra pong elements si M. So, it is a proper subset. Next, number 6. Set M and set H. Let us compare these two sets. Set M with elements 2, 5, 8, and 9. Lahat ba ng elements ni M ay na kay H? No teacher! So it is not a proper subset. Nakakasunod ba? Very good! Let's have another set of examples. Filinish blank with proper subset, subset, or not a proper subset. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you want to try, just pause this video and answer the following. Just a reminder, Iti-check mo muna yung mga elements sa unang set kung present ba sila sa pangalawang set. For number 1, si 3 ba ay present kay set with elements 1, 2, and 3? Yes, so it is a proper subset. Number 2, is 4 present in the second set? Yes, it is. These 3 dots after 1, 2, 3 in the second set indicates that it is continuous in this pattern. It is actually an infinite set of counting numbers. It has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So, present C4. And the answer is a proper subset. Next, number 3. 1, 2, and 3 are present in the second set. But just like number 2, our second set is an infinite set. Walang katapusan. So, hindi lang 1, 2, 3 ang elements niya. It contains an infinite set of numbers. So, the answer is a proper subset 2. Next, number 4. The answer is subset because they have the same elements, parehong pareho. Next, number 5. 1, 2, 3, and 9. Are these numbers present in 1, 2, and 3? No. Walang 9 sa pangalawang set. So, the answer is not a proper subset. Next, number 6. A set with elements 1, 2, 3, and 9. Present ba sila sa second set? Yes, because the second set is an infinite set of numbers. The answer is proper subset. Another reminder, to be considered as a subset, the elements must be enclosed with braces. Dahil pag walang braces, it is just an element. Example, 3 is black of the set with elements 1, 2, and 3. Okay, si 3 ay present sa pangalawang set, but it has no braces. It cannot be considered as a subset or a proper subset. The answer is element. It is just an element pag walang braces. Is that clear? The last part of this video is about listing the subsets of a set. Your favorite ice cream store is offering a free ice cream today to celebrate the success of their business. The available flavors are avocado, chocolate, and vanilla. Let's just refer to them as A for avocado, C for chocolate, and V for vanilla. Say you can only have one kind of ice cream at a time. It means that you can either have avocado, or chocolate, or vanilla. But what if you can have two at a time? What are the different possibilities? You can have avocado and chocolate together, or you may want avocado and vanilla together. You could also have chocolate and vanilla together. But what if you can have all three together? There is only one possibility, a combination of avocado, chocolate, and vanilla. And here's a situation nobody wants to be in. If you are not feeling well and your doctor advised you against having any ice cream, in that case, we have is an empty set or a null set. 
you have none of these. These sets are all the possible subsets of the main set A, C, and V. Subset and even proper subsets. As I have said, proper subset is a special kind of subset that expresses proper inclusion. We have subsets with one element, with two elements, with three, and an empty set. There is a formula that we can use in determining the total number of all possible subsets of a set. It is 2 raised to n, where n is the number of elements in a given set. At si 2 ay constant, hindi nagbabago. Using the previous example, a set with elements avocado, chocolate, and vanilla, or A, C, and V, where n is equal to 3, because the number of elements is 3, C, A, C, C, at C, V, it is the cardinality. Using the formula 2 raised to n by substitution, since n is equal to 3, ipapalit natin si 3 kay n. So we have, so paano po ito evaluate ma'am? The exponent or the small number written in the upper right side of the base tells how many times the base will be multiplied as a factor. So 3 tells us how many times 2 will be multiplied by itself. So 2 raised to 3 or 2 cubed is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong beses natin mumultiply si 2. And the answer is 8. There are 8 subsets. Ilang subsets ang naform natin kanina? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8. Correct nga. There are 8 subsets if there are 3 elements. A, C, and V. Using 2 raised to n as a formula, Mas madali dahil malalaman mo agad kung ilang subsets ang mapaform natin from a given set. May guide para di malito. Just a reminder lang, pwedeng maulit na gamitin yung elements. As long as iba na yung kasama niya sa pairing or grouping with other elements. Remember, a null set or an empty set is always a subset of every set. So lagi siyang kasama. And each set of a given set is enclosed with braces. Another example, consider G as a set with elements 3, 6, and 9. List all its possible subsets. At dahil tatlo ang elements natin kay set G, si 3, si 6, at si 9, tulad ng example kanina, it is also 2 raised to 3, so we have 8 subsets for set G. Let's start with subsets with one element. Subset of 3, subset of 6, and subsets of 9. How about subsets with two elements? We have 3 and 6, 3 and 9, and 6 and 9. We also have subset with all three elements. We have 3, 6, and 9. And do not forget our empty set or null set. That's all. Hope you learned from this video. Thank you and God bless us all.